Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Today I am going to discuss some of the misconceptions non Muslims have towards Muslim women. When you ask a non Muslim, what do you think about Islam? Some of the non Muslims they say Islam oppresses women because Islam allows women to, it forces women to wear hijab fully covering and it allows men to have more than one wife. At the same time, it prevents women from having more than one husband. And the list goes on and on. So today, I am going to discuss on these two points, inshallah. One is hijab and second is polygyny marriages for men. Hijab. If the allegation is made by a male, I ask him, what do you think? If there are two men standing in front of you who are ready to marry you, one is wearing fully hijab and Another woman is semi-naked or half-naked. Whom would you get married to? So far, 100% male, they told me that they prefer to marry a woman who is fully covered, that is wearing hijab. I ask them why. They say maybe she's pure, she's, she looks innocent and uh, she's clean. Maybe I respect her. I tell them yes, that's the point. Hijab gives women respect. It prevents men from doing bad things to her. They don't look at the woman with lust if she's wearing hijab. It, it's not, hijab is not to control women, it is to control men. Islam does not allow men to look at someone's daughter, someone's sister, mother, wife with lust. So it's a, it's a sign of respect. Polygyny marriages. Women prefer to marry someone who is single. But if he's not able to find someone who is single, they will get married to someone who, who is married instead of becoming public property or living whole life without marriage. There is a reason behind uh, polygyny marriages for Muslim men in Islam. If you look at the population of male and female in this world, there are more number of women living than male in this world. At the time of birth, they both are born at the same rate, but female children fight diseases far better than male children. And uh, accident deaths, alcohol deaths, smoking deaths, drug deaths are more in number among men than women. And majority of prison population are male population, not female. So this way the ratio of male is going down and the ratio of female is up. So what solution do we have? Uh, I remember watching, um, watching one of the lecture of uh, Dr. Zakir Naik, who is a speaker, Muslim speaker of India. He was saying that out of thousand men, if one man takes four wives, the problem of extra women in this world will be solved. So this is a solution, it's not a problem. So hopefully today I have clarified some of the points, misconceptions people have about Islam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.